It is a long ways from Austin to El Paso. Not to mention Estacado to Eugene. We were in Estacado last night. And I admit it, sometimes on the road, I will do it. I will, I will listen to classic rock. Because it doesn't matter how old, how young, how middle-aged you are. You will go through the rest of your life listening to music that you listened to in the ninth grade. And you will go through the rest of your life dancing exactly the way you danced in the ninth grade. And as I, I was thinking about this, as I was driving along the Pennsylvania Turnpike, when I came across this sea of fireflies, and they began to play in unison with the orange construction hazards. Now usually, when I'm on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, I'm on my way to see my friend Ann Feeney, who was hoping to be here this evening. But we'll be playing later here with my friend Brian Q. Peter. Ann lives right off the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And down the street from her house is my favorite little Irish bar, where I will go to sit Right. And normally, this is a quiet Irish bar where I will scribble silently on napkins and drink Jameson until I have hallucinations that I am Dylan Thomas. But I made a mistake. This turned out to be St. Patrick's Day weekend. And my sweet little retreat had hired, of all things, a karaoke DJ. And a sign on the door read, ladies, drink for free. No, I won't be free. No, I won't be free. Now, the funny thing about fireflies is, it's only the male that flickers. They do this in hopes of attracting a female. If no female can be found, the male will join forces and begin to blink in unison in the hope that their combined brilliance will reach the heart or at least the thorax of their beloved. The barflies are garnished in these blinking green shamrocks and unbearable paper hats. Yet somehow, I cannot break from my own tradition because this is what is happening and I came here to write. So reluctantly, I accept my own blinking green shamrock and I even order a green beer and find the only open table to sit and write as familiar acoustic guitar chords leak from the karaoke sound system. The sky that we look upon should tumble and fall as the mountains should crumble to the sea. A single firefly escapes the windshield of my car and begins to burn in a rhythm all his own. And I wonder what the fireflies think as they enliven their luminous body, captive in a giant mayonnaise jar. Do they dream of picking themselves up by their tiny little bootstraps? At the bar, I get into an argument with a libertarian who tells me the poor deserve what they get. 
and they should pull themselves up by their tiny little bootstraps as one lone soul steps up to the microphone to intone the ubiquitous. So I won't be free. Just as long as you stand by me. Some unseen force makes two lightning bugs blink together just once as someone at the table next to me mutters beneath his breath, stand, stand by me. Once hollow eyes now gleam like fireflies as strangers saunter into the bar. And for no apparent reason, they see what's happening, and they just simply join the chorus. Stand by me, oh, stand Strangers clean glasses and swear undying friendship, veiled by lyrics inscribed on in our psyche by the tattoo needles of elevators and grocery store ambiance. The libertarian fumbles for change. I pick up his tab saying, stand, stand by me. And he continues his argument, citing Rosa Parks as an example of it being the individual at the heart of settling the world's tribulations. But I say, if you think a middle-aged cleaning woman from Montgomery, Alabama, single-handedly started the civil rights movement, then you probably think that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. occurs to me that the reason some people want us poor folks to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps is simply to get us to bend over. While the highway looks like it is well by a single strand of Christmas light, blinking in perfect harmony, one thousand car radios are tuned to Rush Limbaugh, citing an opposite reality, yet somehow the whole bar sings together. Aware of my own awkwardness and accepting that such absurd pop songs have captured the zeitgeist of my generation, but too caught up in the group experience to care, I light my cell phone and hold in the air. Others follow suit. as a collective, as a whole, as a union, that we can ever be as one. People sway back and forth. Strangers play classes. Some link arms. Some go home together as darkness descends. And each solitary sparkle is extinguished. But my friends, in that darkness, a new generation of fireflies is created. Thanks everybody, we'll thank you very much for your cheers. How about this band? Chow Chow, Chow Chow, Paul Benoit. We have some CDs for sale. This is one of Paul's songs. I highly recommend Paul's CD.